Hello everyone! In this video we will solve an example about Bresenham's line drawing algorithm, which I explained in my previous video. I strongly recommend you to watch the previous video before starting this one, otherwise it might be difficult to understand the original formulas. Now let's get started! Before starting an example, first of all let me remind you an algorithm. Depending on the value of slope, we can get these two formulas. Let's analyze both cases. Case 1, when slope is less than 1. In this case, initial decision parameter pk will be 2 delta y minus delta x. Next coordinates decision parameter pk plus 1 will be pk plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x yk plus 1 minus yk. And we have conditions based on the value of pk. If pk is more than and equal 0, next coordinate of y will change by 1. Just to remind you, when slope is less than 1, x coordinate will always change with unit interval. So next coordinate will be xk plus 1, yk plus 1. If pk is less than 0, then next coordinate of y will equal to previous coordinate of y. Next coordinate will be xk plus 1, yk. Now let's see the second case, when slope is more than 1. Then formulas will be as below. We will change the parameter of x and y in the previous formula, pk and pk plus 1. When slope is more than 1, y coordinate will always change with unit in interval. It means that in every iteration, the next coordinate of y will increase by 1. So computers should only decide x coordinate. If pk is more than or equal 0, then next coordinate of x will increase by 1. So next coordinates will be xk plus 1, yk plus 1. Otherwise, the next coordinate of x will equal to the previous coordinate of x. So next coordinates will be xk and yk plus 1. Now let's start solving a problem. Draw a line between 5, 12 and 15, 20. Here we have endpoints. I drew this graphic in order to make it easier to understand. This is initial point 5, 12 and this is endpoint 15, 20. All we need is to find intermediate points between endpoints in order to draw a line on screen. First of all, let's calculate slope. I hope you already know how to calculate the slope. M equals delta y divided by delta x. We have all values of x and y, so I can easily find the slope, which equals 0 0.8 and less than 1. In this case, we will use these formulas in further calculations. Now let's again look at the graphics. We found that slope is less than 1. It means that line is in such position that the change in x coordinate is more than change in y coordinate. In this case, x will always increase by 1. We should find, we should calculate the value of y coordinate in every iteration. So computer should decide upper or lower pixel to choose. Now we should calculate initial decision parameter which equals to 2 delta y minus delta x. Let's put values in formula. Actually it would be easier to find 2 delta y and delta x before starting our calculations. Anyway, the value of pk equals 6. Now let's write down these values in our table. So initial point of xk, yk is 5, 12 and pk is 6. Now let's see our conditions. In the case of pk is more than 0, next coordinate of y will increase by 1. It means that next coordinate will be xk plus 1 and yk plus 1. In the previous value it was 5, 12. Now it is 
6, 13. Oops, I did a mistake here. Yes, I corrected my mistake. It's 6, 13. This is our first next coordinate. Now let's find the second intermediate point. Here we will find pk plus 1, which equals pk plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x, yk plus 1 minus yk. First of all, let's find 2 delta y and 2 delta x before starting our calculation because we will use them at every iteration until we reach the end point. The value of pk is 6, which we found in our previous calculation. 2 delta y is 16 and minus 20, 2 delta x. And after calculation, we find that pk plus 1 equals 2, which is more than 0. Then, according to our condition, next coordinate will be 7, 14. x and y will increase by 1. Yes, for third iteration, the previous value of x and y is 7, 14. Now let's find the value of pk plus 1 for the next point. which equals minus 2 and the less than 0. In this case, the next coordinate of y will equal to the previous point of y. x will increase by 1, but y will be the same. 8, 14. Yes, because I started from zero, that's why I changed the number. The next coordinate, the next decision parameter is 14, which is more than zero. So x and y will increase by one, will be 9, 15. We will continue our calculation until reaching the end point. is 10 more than 0 again x and y will increase by 1 in the fifth iteration decision parameter equals 6 which is more than 0 x and y will increase by 1 We are in the sixth iteration. PK plus one equals the previous value of PK was six. So six plus sixteen minus twenty. Seventeen minus sixteen. Seventeen is YK plus one, sixteen is YK. So PK plus one equals two, which is more than zero. Then the next point of x and y will increase by 1, both of them. Next coordinate will be 12, 18. In seventh iteration, pk plus 1 equals 2 plus 16 minus 20, 18 minus 17, which equals minus 2 and less than 0. In this case, x will increase by 1, y will be the same. So next coordinate is 13, 18. In 8 iteration, pk plus 1 equals minus 2 plus 16 minus 20, 18 minus 18. Because in the previous value, P, uh, yk plus 1 was equal to yk. So here we got pk plus 1 equals 14, which is more than 0. Next coordinate will be 14 and 19. Both of them increased by 1. Ninth iteration we are pk plus 1 equals 
14 plus 16 minus 20, 19 minus 18. So here we got 10, which is more than 0. In this case, y, x and y will increase by 1 again, which equals 15 and 20. And this is end point. Here we stop our calculation. Let's see which values were found using Preston Holmes line drawing algorithm. Let me remind you one more time. Because the slope is less than 1, x coordinate will always increase by 1. So decision will only be made for y coordinate. In the first intermediate point, computer should choose 12 or 13 according to calculation. We found that 13 is nearer to intercept point than 12. So computer will choose 13 in the second intermediate point computer will choose 14. In third point computer again will choose 14 because the lower pixel 14 is nearer to intercept point than upper pixel 15. The next point of Y will be 15. Then 16. Then again, upper pixel 17 will be chosen. For next coordinate, 18 will be chosen. Eighteen will be chosen again because lower pixel is nearer to intercept point than upper pixel nineteen. The following pixels will be nineteen and twenty respectively. After reaching twenty, which is the end point of Y, we will stop algorithm. As you see, it's quite simple algorithm. Hope calculations are clear for you. Thank you guys for watching this video. You can ask your questions in comment section below. And one more thing that I would like to recommend you to practice some problems or do exactly the same example that I did in this video. Then watch it again and compare yours with mine. See you next time. Bye bye.